Today, we're going to unpack one of the biggest conversations in the tech world right now. The idea of Windows 12, the rumors surrounding it, and why in 2025 Linux operating systems are quietly starting to outperform Microsoft in ways that most people never expected. There's a lot of hype, misinformation, and speculation floating around. But when you step back and look at what's actually happening in the industry, a very different picture begins to emerge. This isn't just about a new version of Windows. It's about a shift in how people use computers, what they expect from their operating systems, and why many users are starting to question whether Microsoft still deserves its dominance on the desktop. For years, Windows was the default. You bought a laptop, you got Windows, you built a PC, you installed Windows. Almost every program you needed, every game you wanted to play, every office task you had to complete was built around Microsoft's ecosystem. Linux existed, but for most people it was something only programmers, hackers, or server admins cared about. It was powerful, but it was seen as complicated and unfriendly to normal users. That perception held true for a long time, but it is no longer accurate in 2025. At the same time, Microsoft's direction with Windows has changed dramatically. Windows 10 was marketed as the final version of Windows, a constantly evolving platform that would be updated instead of replaced. That promise was quietly abandoned when Windows 11 arrived with stricter hardware requirements, forced upgrades, and a much heavier focus on cloud integration and AI. Many users felt left behind. Perfectly good computers were suddenly considered obsolete. Updates became more intrusive. Telemetry and data collection increased. And Microsoft started pushing accounts, subscriptions, and online services deeper into the core of the operating system. This is where the Windows 12 rumors come in. People expect Microsoft to keep moving in this direction. The idea behind Windows 12 is not just a new coat of paint, but a much deeper transformation of what Windows is. The rumors suggest a system that is even more cloud-dependent, more integrated with AI, and more tied to Microsoft's online ecosystem. Instead of being a traditional desktop operating system that lives on your machine, Windows is increasingly becoming a service that lives partly in the cloud and partly on your hardware. For some users, that sounds exciting. For many others, it sounds like a loss of control. Meanwhile, Linux has been moving in the opposite direction. Linux has become simpler, more polished, and more user-friendly than ever before. Modern Linux distributions now look and feel just as clean and professional as Windows or Mac OS. You no longer need to be a terminal wizard to use Linux. You can install it with a few clicks, Browse the web, edit documents, watch videos, play games, and do creative work without touching a single command line. And unlike Windows, Linux does not require you to sign in with an online account, does not force updates at inconvenient times, and does not collect user data for advertising or telemetry. One of the biggest reasons Linux is gaining momentum in 2025 is Microsoft's own decision to end support for Windows 10. Millions of computers around the world still run perfectly fine on Windows 10, but they cannot upgrade to Windows 11 because of hardware restrictions. These machines are not broken. They are not slow. They are simply locked out by policy. For many people, this has been the final push they needed to look for an alternative. Instead of buying a new computer just to satisfy Windows, they install Linux and continue using the hardware they already own. When those users try Linux for the first time, many of them are surprised. They expect something rough and unfinished, but what they find is fast, stable, and modern. Linux boots quickly. It runs smoothly on older machines. It does not slow down over time the way Windows often does. There are no surprise reboots. No forced updates in the middle of work. No pop-ups asking you to subscribe to services you don't want. For many people, Linux feels like what computing used to be before everything became monetized and controlled. Gaming is another area where Linux has made huge progress. For decades, Windows was the only serious option for PC gaming. If you wanted to play the latest titles, you had no choice. That has changed. Thanks to compatibility layers and developer support, most Windows games now run on Linux with little or no performance loss. Handheld gaming devices running Linux have also helped normalize the idea that you don't need Windows to enjoy modern games. As more gamers try Linux and realize it works, the old idea that Linux is not for gaming continues to fade. This is where Linux begins to outpace Microsoft, not in raw numbers, but in momentum and innovation. Microsoft moves slowly. It is a massive corporation with layers of management, marketing strategies, and profit models that shape every decision. 
Linux, on the other hand, is driven by communities, developers, and users who want to solve real problems. When a feature is needed, someone builds it. When something is broken, it gets fixed. There is no waiting for a corporate roadmap or marketing campaign. Progress happens organically and constantly. While Microsoft talks about the future of Windows in terms of AI assistance, cloud integration, and subscriptions, Linux is quietly improving things that users actually feel every day. Faster boot times, better hardware support, smoother graphics, cleaner interfaces, more efficient use of resources. The average Linux desktop today is more responsive and stable than Windows on the same hardware, especially on older or mid-range systems. Another major difference is control. With Linux, the computer belongs to you. You decide what is installed. You decide when updates happen. You decide what runs in the background. With Windows, more and more of those decisions are being taken away. Microsoft decides when you update. Microsoft decides what services are running. Microsoft decides how much of your data is collected. That trade-off may be acceptable for some people, but a growing number of users are no longer comfortable with it. The idea of Windows 12 only amplifies these concerns. If Windows 11 already requires online accounts, secure boot, specific chips, and cloud features, what will Windows 12 require? More hardware restrictions? More subscriptions? More eye services running constantly in the background? Many users fear that the future of Windows is a locked-down platform where you are less a user and more a customer inside Microsoft's ecosystem. Linux offers the opposite future. It is open, transparent, and community-driven. Anyone can inspect the code. Anyone can modify it. Anyone can build their own version of the operating system. This openness creates trust. You know what the system is doing because nothing is hidden. There are no secret processes sending your data somewhere else. There are no forced changes you didn't agree to. That trust is one of the biggest reasons Linux adoption is growing so quickly. People are tired of feeling like their computers no longer belong to them. They want systems that respect their choices, their privacy, and their hardware. Linux gives them that. So when people say Linux is outpacing Microsoft in 2025, they don't mean Linux has more users than Windows. They mean Linux is winning where it matters most, in user satisfaction, innovation, freedom, and long-term sustainability. Windows is still everywhere, but its direction is becoming more corporate, more restrictive, and more dependent on services and monetization. Linux is becoming more accessible, more powerful, and more appealing to everyday users. The future of personal computing is no longer guaranteed to belong to one company. The rise of Linux shows that people are willing to try something new when they feel pushed too far. Windows 12, whether it arrives soon or not, will likely continue Microsoft's path toward cloud-centric, AI-driven computing. Linux will continue its path toward open, efficient, and user-controlled computing. And in that contrast lies the real story of 2025, 